Hey guys, Greg here, Bone Tactical, and today we're going to show you the Karambit. We are showing the newest version of the Karambit. What we've got here, these all ship in this beautiful wood box, as you can see. All right, beautiful wood box. It's cedar, handmade. Everything we do is handmade. Everything, everything. Every part of this is handmade. Beautiful work of art. I'll show you what's inside. The Karambit itself is packed to ship, okay, in the pieces of Bone Tactical Coffee Company bags okay we've got old coffee bags you guys know we've also got coffee we've got the coffee farm we're down here very close to one of our coffee farms these come in both resolute and modern warrior today we're going to talk about the resolute this is the resolute warrior karambit right here that means that it is basically a forced patina camouflage okay so once we pull this out of the seat handmade cedar box we've got the bone tactical proprietary sheath now this sheath, if you buy this in 2021, this is going to be the new sheath. And the new sheath is absolutely amazing. It really is what makes this karambit so portable. It's, it's just a nasty tool. Apart from being an absolute beautiful work of art, which I'll show you right here, it is just a nasty, devastating, effective self-defense tool. Okay? Beautiful coco bolo handle scales all right that we've got there okay this is only bone tactical has this color kydex only bone tactical has this sheath system only bone tactical makes a karambit that you can carry for everyday use in the modern world this effectively only bone tactical makes this clip system as well what does this allow me to do this allows me let's say that this right here is my pants that i'm wearing okay i I can obviously wear this on a belt, either inside the waistband or outside the waistband, but let's say that I don't have a belt on. I can just slip this inside my bathing suit or my gym shorts like this right here. Okay, again, I will show you. I can just slip this right inside here, inside my bathing suit, gym shorts, whatever. What that's going to do, it's going to slip in here. It's going to catch, okay? Now I can wear this appendix carry. It's going to catch and pull right out. Here is the primary use of the karambit. What, that, what this right here allows it to do is it allows it to sit in the hand without falling out of the hand, suspended by this finger loop right here, okay? And then anytime I really, any way I swing my fists like this in this hooking slashing movement means that that's just going to just do nasty cutting and slashing. Of course, we've got the bottle opener on the back here. As far as martial arts, what we're talking, I can flip out here and have an extended cutting, okay? So I can cut in here, and a karambit's one of the only knives in the world, if not the only knife in the world that can cut twice with one movement. So let's say that I come through here and cut you once, boom, one movement of the hand, okay? Again, come through here and cut, come through here, cut, spin it back around, and cut through again, okay? So if I show you from the other direction, I'm coming through here and I'm cutting, I cut, and then just flip of the wrist, I cut again in the same arm movement, okay? That's what that allows me to do. Again, we've got the, the beautiful hand-marked bone letters here. As you can see, beautiful hand-marked bone on the front of the sheath there. Every detail is just impeccable. Bronze rivets, cocobolo wood, shaving sharp. Really, there's no way you're going to cut yourself here, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful overall system. But I will show you guys the use and carry here in a second. The first thing we'll talk about is the carry method. It's concealed carry. Okay, super easy to carry. Awesome to carry like we talked about. You just slip it into the pants. If you have board shorts on, gym shorts, it'll still work. If you have pants with a belt, then you just double that 
make sure that tab's underneath the belt. So that way when you reach down to grab it, it just comes out super fast, it catches on the belt, and if you have time, then you slip your finger into that finger hole, and then you've got the karumbit there ready to go in your hand, like we talked about, all right? That's the sheath method here, all right? Show you that one more time, this is the sheath. Just enters right in, okay? Sheath goes into the belt. Make sure that it hooks underneath, and then you reach down, grab it, and pull it right out, okay? Slide your finger in if you have time, and there you go. Okay guys, karambit, we're gonna get right into the cutting test. The karambit is designed specifically to slash, that's all it does, it slashes, it rips, it cuts open flesh like a zipper. So I'm gonna talk you through this process. I'm not gonna go crazy, I'm just gonna actually show you right here the devastating capability of this tool. Okay, it just that just ripped through like butter the first cut. I'm gonna do several cuts. I'll do one from the bottom to, to the top. Okay, it, it's really re encountering almost no resistance here. So it's, it's, it's getting a little bit difficult. I could probably go eight, 12 inches deep if this was that deep. All right, that's like six cuts right there. I'll slow this down. So this is basically what I would be doing is just coming in here and cutting, all right? These cuts are going all the way in to the point where the blade's even going in and then getting stuck on the handle portion of not being able to rip. Okay, so that's how, that's how deep this blade's going, like nothing. It's really unbelievable. I'll show you guys one time right here. I'll flip it to the, to the top other carry option. And I'll align here to an area where there's not a lot of damage already done. And I'll just show you how easily this will just shred flesh. Okay. There we go. That was actually bone right here. So I'll show you one more time. Let me find a... An actual, here's, this is pretty fleshy right here. I'm gonna show you right here how this will, will just shred flesh. That quickly, that easily, and we're talking full penetration right there, okay? No damage to the karambit. The karambit's still incredibly sharp. I'm gonna set this down, and we'll just talk a little bit about these, these cuts here. So we've got some of the first cuts here. Again, this is four or five inches deep here. As deep as my, as my ring finger, as my pointing finger, completely all the way down to the bone there. All right, another cut here. This one's cut all the way through the other side of the ham. This, is, this hits bone right here, that's, that's hard bone, so this went in and hit bone and stopped. Again, here you're talking just just nasty damage. This is bone as well right here. This is the same bone. And, and we're looking at really just, just a devastating, a devastating knife and so easy to use. A knife that really, all you have to do is just move your hand in here and every little flick, every little flick of the wrist does devastating damage. This is really a test that shows real self-defense situation, this jean material here would be very similar to heavy clothing that anybody could possibly be wearing. And then the, 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 the pork here is gonna be a very similar to anything that you would have even on human tissue. So that's why we test against pork and that's what we're doing here with the, with the knife. If you really wanted to stab, you can stab with it, but because it's that curving motion, you stab, okay? at a curving motion like that. So it does, it will stab very deep. So that's one way to stab. But if I'm trying to slice with it, obviously, like I said, stabbing, very easy to stab. It'll go in as far as you can get it in. But if I'm just, if I'm just cutting with it, then what I would do is just actually just slice at the surface there, okay? And it will just do any kind of damage until it hits bone. There's bone right there. But as far as fatty tissue goes, it gets no better at just ripping and shredding fatty tissue like nothing. So this knife is not designed to cut anything but flesh. 
I'll see what else we can do with this knife, but the design of this is specifically self-defense and specifically that easy. You grab it out, you pull it out, and you just fight as you would throwing punches, and that's it. Okay, so it's not designed for bushcraft. It's not designed for anything other apart from being one of the most effective, if not the most effective, self-defense specific knives on the market. Okay, thanks for watching. Bone out. If you like these awesome videos and you want to be notified when I post more, then you need to go to my channel homepage on YouTube. You need to click the subscribe button, but not only that, then you have to go over here to the bell. You got to click the bell and then you click all. If you don't do that, YouTube won't notify you when I'm putting up this awesome new content.